sorry to keep you all waiting. It's a couple years uh, after the fact, but yeah, let's play Ratchet and Clank 3. Up your arsenal. Woo. And, um, yeah, like I am. <laughs> sorry it took a freaking poll to make this happen, but oh wait, cutscene. Swamp fly. Oh, yeah. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and make. What? Th 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 that's cheating. On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the bloggy and snaggle beast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! <laughs> Secret agent. Hmm, shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Velden is in the Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive? The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. Okay, um, forgot. The point I was making before the start of this, but eh, it feels good to be back to this. And oh yeah, sorry it like you know took a poll. I I was going to do this at one point, but other stuff kept coming up, and uh, yeah. Anyway, before we begin, we're gonna have to do something to make the game playable. Uh, there we go. Uh, gonna go ahead and equip the thruster pack. I joke. The the hella pack is fine. But this is just better. Also, let me just make sure of stuff. Oh God, no. Okay, so um, we're good. Alrighty, so yeah, thruster pack, we can do all that good stuff. All right, so in case you're into ratchet and clank, jump, double jump, glide, uh, crouch is R1. Boom. You can do that. The uh, we're still in Ratchet and Clank 2 control scheme, so you can strafe if you hold R2 and L2, or either or. L1 for first person. You can also crouch and press square to do a little boomerang throw thing. Boom, you got that. Circle is for weapons, we don't have those yet. Triangle is for quick select, we don't have those yet. All right, are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. That's map. Wait, R3 is map, really? You can also press select. And yeah, uh, there's also uh, 
lock strafe mode, which is like... I, I can't really show off here because we don't have a weapon yet. Well, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see momentarily. Oh no, yeah. Um, okay, so fixed camera essentially. Um, you treat, yeah, lock strafe mode is like a standard, uh, like strafe shooter. Uh, you will, once we get a weapon, you will see a cursor in the middle of the screen. Well, we're about to get one now. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look! It's a new sergeant! Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them. We're all gonna die! Press what is up with Galactic Rangers in blaster. every game sucking? So, yeah, um... You know, lock strafe mode. Use the shoulder button to shoot. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, likewise, you got first person mode. Which is same thing. I do not recommend this. I mean, it's fine, but it can make the platforming a little rough. But yeah, I'll be sticking with uh, third person mode. I like it. Weapons have, um, whatchamacallit, experience again. You see the little experience meter right there under my ammo count. Just stating the obvious in case you're new to uh, Ratchet and Clank. You're just gonna go ahead and grab some. Who shot me? You freaking ingrates. Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess that somebody is me. We got a volunteer! Here, Sarge, take this! We'll cover you! From back there! It's like random Wombax shows up. Oh yeah, you're the Sarge now. Alright, so yeah, we got a little grenade launcher right here. I will be just going through um, the various weapons, upgrading them in order. I like to do that. That will make uh, some areas harder with some weapons, but... Eh, that's the path I've chosen. To select weapons, Hold triangle and select an icon with the left analog stick. Also, uh, fun fact, this is my, uh... L1 to precisely target your weapon. This is my third time trying to record this. I was being lazy and trying to uh, record this on emulator. However, Ratchet & Clank games are, uh way more resource intensive than I thought. I mean, obviously a computer could like play them if they were like genuinely ported to uh, um, PC, but trying to emulate these games, it was dang near impossible. When I finally had the right settings for, um, whatchamacallit, like where the textures wouldn't be all kinds of messed up. The game was running at like two frames every second, so would not recommend it. Would not recommend it. Also, I will be making this a 100% LP because that's just what I do. I love Ratchet and Clank. This is. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Would I consider this my absolute favorite in the series? I know it's up there. I would say it's tied with Kraken Time at the least. Like, oh yeah, as you kill enemies, your health goes up, blah, blah, blah. Um, there was a period of time where I would 100% this game every year. Like, once a year. I would just go through, get everything. It's fun, yo. And that's all that matters. Oh, I forgot you also got a little jump attack, too, in case you're new. Like, jump melee attack. And, uh... Yeah, I think it was, like... Maybe year... Three of owning my, uh, PS3 when I sort of stopped the yearly tradition. 
Hey, was it year three? Because I know I was still playing this when I had the PS3, but... Ugh. Or was it when I actually started doing YouTube? Dang, I genuinely can't remember, but yeah, it has been a minute. <laughs> but I still feel confident in knowing where everything is. So anyway, let's go. <gasps> what have they done to Ratchet's house? Well, first we're just gonna go here and grab uh, these. You need bolts to buy stuff. Well, the poster's still intact at least, but uh, yeah, the house is looking wrecked, fam. What's the situation? The well, look who's falling into his position already. We have orders to go in and take him out as Sector. No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, trooper. We've got a planet to save. Sir, yes, sir. I also really love the story of this game. Like, it's so good, and just seeing Ratchet's character develop, honestly, over, like, the PS2 trilogy was just really good. This is, like, the culmination of all that. Oh, and, uh, yeah, we're, where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I am playing this on PS2. Component cable. Connect it to a converter to like read it as HDMI so I can record it on my freaking uh, uh, Elgato. Was going to just use the HD PVR, but I don't know, the quality just hasn't been as good on that like as it used to. So I just opted to buy a converter. Hey, Shock Blaster level 2! Oh, enemies behind me. Yeah, attack. we got some Galactic Rangers helping us out. They kind of suck. Kind of. They do suck. Oh, oh, look at y'all killing the grunts. Oh, I thought I lost one of them. Oh, y'all got him. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. And now to just secure the area for uh, money. Because I like money. It helps me buy more weapons. More weapons are good to have. Just saying. Nothing in here. Also, I'm kind of tempted to just do it to lock strafe mode. All the years, like, after this, of playing newer shooters and stuff, I'm kind of, like, tempted in that... Like, blah, blah, blah. Just tempted to activate it here but I know muscle memory will cause me to screw up certain things in this game if I do that like I don't know I don't know we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling come like part two and three and stuff anyway bop. I don't even need the ammo to strafe hold down l2 or r2 while running he, oh, well, I thought he was dead. Now he is. Could have used the uh, nitro launcher, but eh, I just want to level this up. Sir, we have a transmission from the president. How are things on the front lines, soldier? Is is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor. Ratchet gets you no respect. What? No, no, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. 
As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of nature's mysteries. <laughs> I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be one of nature's <laughs> mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. God, I missed the writing of we this game. Find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. Okay, and we're getting right into it.